two-year review, my two-year review here. And what do I keep in here owning the Rad Rover? Um, it's actually a little bit over two years. So I'm actually going to talk about that and kind of show you what uh, my experiences is. My experience. <laughs> and uh, so if you've been watching my videos, um, I have a playlist of all the rides I've done on my Rad Rover along with a Rad Mini, um, the Rad Mini Step Through. Those are the three bikes that I actually own and have. Other bikes are um, the Rad City that I test rode and the Rad Wagon and the Rad Runner, uh, the Rad Runner as well. And so, so um, let me just go over a few things um, about the bike. Okay, so um, let's go over some of the changes I've made over the years. All right, most of it is just replacement parts. So none of it's really anything to do with upgrading. And the reason I don't upgrade is very simple. I, I don't need to upgrade. Uh, a lot of people upgrade, upgrade the, uh, the motor, the controller. A lot of people upgrade the controller. A lot of people uh, will try to upgrade the uh, the brakes, eh, that's on the other side, but here you go. Brakes right over here. A lot of people try to upgrade the brakes. Um, I have not done any of those just for the simple reason that uh, I don't need to. Uh, the brakes work fine. They're low maintenance. So, okay, so uh, let's just go over from, from front. I'll go over from front to back uh, some of the things that I've I made changes on 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 my rad rover here okay so uh, the basket like the basket like it up in the front um, the the bag the front rack and the basket the bag <laughs> the front rack which is underneath here this thing right here and the basket here are all things that uh, I like. Uh, originally, when I bought the bike, it did not come with the uh, fenders, so I bought the fenders. And so the, these are things that I think you should have because if you look at my bike, you can see that it's really, really dirty. I haven't washed it in a long time. Probably won't, <laughs> you know. So, anyways, so the brakes. You'll notice that I have not changed my brakes. Um, one of the major reasons is um, I don't want to put any more money. It would only be if I had to repair or replace. So, uh, so the brakes are just mechanical brakes. And another thing is the brakes are simple to replace and maintain. They're not very difficult, and uh, they work for me. They, they, they. There's, there's enough stopping power for me, even with all the, all the weight on this bike. Even with all the weight on this bike, uh, the front fork. So, if you've seen my uh, video on the uh, front fork that I just replaced, you'll know that uh, I had to replace it because it got bent. You can actually see where it's kind of dirty and then where it's clean. So, there's a lot of there's how much room is there? There's about uh, this much room. I set it to the um, I set it to the uh, softest or the most springiest, uh, just because uh, I go on road and off road, and I, I tend to go at higher speeds as well, and so uh, I really want the shock absorption of the front uh, springs. Front fork is the only thing I had a major replacement on, and that's because I flipped my bike over, and uh, you know what happened then. All right, so let's move on to. Uh, some of the additions I've made. Uh, grip is new. It's only on this side. And that's because uh, I, when I flip my bike, I hit the uh, railing here and it busted the uh, leather grip, which is right here, this leather grip. I kept this on for now, but you can see this thing moves. And this thing 
very hard to move. It's new and it's very grippy, very tacky, and it's orange. So, anyways, uh, Cramp Buster works really well with the new grip. You can see here. So the Cramp Buster works really well with the new grip now. Really happy with that. Um, so that's an upgrade that I enjoy because I use the Cramp Buster quite a bit. An accessory, Cramp Buster. Really like it. Helps. Uh, I usually put my throttle. I palm it. I just palm it when I when I go cruising. Uh, the two lights I still have. Those are additions. The mirror. I recently um, recently had to buy another one because it finally broke and it was wobbling too much. So I bought the bought the mirror. This is just a little fanny pack I have to store the uh, batteries. I haven't made much adjustments or upgrades to it. Like I said, I'd rather ride the bike than, than upgrade my bike. I spend, some people spend more time and more, more money than they need to just ride, ride the bike. That's why you bought it. Uh, okay, the other thing is uh, suspension seat post. This is a huge game changer. Um, what is it, like 100 bucks, 120 bucks, and you basically got kind of like a full suspension bike, or it feels like a Full suspension bike. Uh, I this is just a, a tire, a tube that was a flat, and I just cut up just to cover it. Mine didn't come with a cover. I still have not replaced the controller. It's still the original. Again, I want to ride my bike, and I like exercising. I like riding, so that's why uh, I don't bother to. Uh, to upgrade it um, plus there's just a long wait time for that and uh, I, I don't want to work on my bike I want to ride my bike again the back fenders that's another item that I uh, purchased now it comes with back fenders uh, front and rear fenders very important um, I do have uh, original pedals I have haven't changed anything. Like I said, I just want to ride my bike, not up, you know, upgrade my bike. Um, I do have a slight problem with the uh, front chain ring guard here. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. Okay, there you go. You can see that there's these little wear marks right here. When I have it on the uh, lowest uh, cog or the smallest cog, um, it shift it shifts the chain over to the right, and some and this part right here is bent. It's it's narrower. This part is a little bit more narrower than the other parts, and I just think I just have to I just have to bend that. That's the only thing I have to do. Just bend it, pull it, pull it outwards. Just bend it more. Oh, getting dirty hands. Anyways. So uh, that's uh, that's the only problem I have with this. Uh, everything else works just fine. Uh, the the rear the free will uh, haven't changed it. Kept it the same. People say they uh, they ghost pedal a lot. I I think they just can't keep up with the cadence, and so that's why they're they're ghost pedaling a lot. Um, if you work out, if you ride the bike and you put some effort into it, what I found was that uh, you, your legs get stronger and you're able to keep up with the cadence and uh, you, you get a lot of exercise. So everything for the most part is still original. Nothing's changed. Uh, the rear rack uh, is also helpful because you could put the rear basket and in the rear um, I have a I just have this to make sure it, it doesn't fall out even though it's tied and everything uh, but you know because the rear it, it is still a hardtail so you will just this thing will bounce pretty hard so uh, I put all this stuff on it just to keep it in there so it doesn't fall off this is also a backup here, uh, when it starts raining, I have my poncho, my my other gear, uh, 
let's take a quick look at it. Since I have it here. Two year review, my two year review here. And what do I keep in here? Okay, um, this is my poncho. And it also fits nicely in here that it just keeps everything, you know, down. Keeps everything down so it doesn't bounce around. This is more of an emergency kit. And the reason why I have the smaller one in the back is because I noticed that there's frame flexing. Uh, the, uh, the frame of the bike will start flexing and you'll get this weird gyrating wiggling on the bike. So, anyways, uh, I have these gloves. These are technically my rain gloves, but uh, I wear them when it starts raining. Reflective material, Harbor Freight. They're like seven bucks retail. Get a coupon. A simple pump. Uh, nothing special. Got it at Walmart. Uh, re patch repair kit your levers and just stuff uh, emergency situation um, you know what else do I carry I carry some extra gloves I carry uh, some lubricant in a bag uh, towel for wiping I carry a charger let's see if you get in here see I carry my charger this is uh, clear glasses just in case I need clear glasses I actually prefer tinted glasses, actually, so I might change that out. Uh, gloves. Um, okay. Another thing I carry is, and you might want to, you might want to carry this. Uh, this is a. Uh, it's kind of, kind of, whatever. A shower cap. Yeah. <laughs> and when it rains, I put this over my helmet because you'll get rained on, and so. Shower cap helps. Uh, the poncho does come with the the poncho comes with the hood. Okay, and then uh, this is my this is another light with the batteries, and this is for the head mounted headlight. So when it's dark, I put this on the helmet. You know, I put it on the helmet. I put it on the helmet, and then. I could see where I'm going, so I put that in here on top of my uh, two lights, on top of my two lights up in the front, and then some miscellaneous bungee cords and stuff like that. Uh, what else do I have in here? Uh, okay, another thing I do have is. I do carry two inner tubes. I clearly mark these four by twenty-six. Your 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 tires are actually four by twenty-six inch, but when you measure the uh, the thickness of the uh, of the tire, it comes out to be like almost uh, almost twenty-eight inches. So, and that's what I keep in here. And then what this is is this wraps around my waist when I have the poncho on. Because your poncho is going to be flopping all over the place. So that's if it's rains or if it's night and tire repair. Oh, uh, last thing. But the most, probably the most important thing is right. I don't know if you can see that. But right in here, there's a little pocket. And this is where I keep my, my tools. So even though I have an extra set of tools up in the front... I carry another another one here. Sometimes I'll take that one out and use it, um, but I always have one here. So this is my trunk. You can sort of say my trunk. All right. And then, of course, I don't have a, a rear light. I don't have a rear light, so I gotta I use these lights. And then uh, let me go on to uh, the other side of, of this here. All right, so uh, I turned the bike around to show you the pannier bag or pannier. Um, I'll show you what's in it here real quick. And uh, 
And the only thing I keep in here are my shoes. Some shoes because I, and this is mainly for the winter, uh, an extra pair of hats. And I believe I got uh, some, oh, and uh, some uh, pants. They're very breathable pants. And that's just uh, for me to wear if whatever I'm wearing gets too wet or too dirty for whatever reason. And that's about all I use this thing for. Uh, sometimes I'll put other stuff in there, but in reality, uh, this does not really hold a lot. The uh, These little brackets here, these little brackets right in here are not very good, not very strong. So I wouldn't put a lot of things in here, not very heavy things, just things that you need to keep dry and uh, just very light things like clothes and shoes and that's that's about it and that's all they're really good for so overall my two-year experience with this bike um, has been awesome i like it very much uh, very low maintenance very low cost in maintaining it and it keeps running as long as you oil the chain basic maintenance don't crash your bike. Uh, the other thing is, uh, if you do break things or you uh, crash your bike or stuff like that, it's easy to repair because it's very easy to find the parts. Uh, even um, parts, uh, if you call Rad Power Bikes, uh, you can actually get all the replacement. They have all the replacement parts, and they'll, they'll sell it to you. If you don't like the replacement parts, you can actually buy aftermarket parts that aren't necessarily from Rad Power Bikes and still use it on this bike because it is a bicycle first, then an electric bike second because all it is for the most part is just a, an aluminum frame bike, all right, a bicycle that you could probably get other parts to make it work. And, uh, and then it's just a, a battery and an electric motor <laughs> attached to it with the controller, with the controller and a display. So that's it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to conclude this episode. Uh, I do like this bike. It's two years. It's still working. Um, it probably will last me for a very long time. I have no issues whatsoever so far. The brackets, the uh, chain, the gears, um, still going as far as I know. And uh, if it does ever wear down to the point I can't ride it anymore, or I can't repair it, I'll just get another one. Just get another bike. Anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode. Please like, share, comment. I think this bike is worth the purchase. It will last a long time. Remember, I've crashed this bike. I jackknifed the bike, and it still held up pretty good. I actually rode it home. So, anyways, uh, like, share, comment. Until next time, everyone. Bye.